In this video, I want to show you how to deploy uh, an application onto a device. We're going to do this um, here with um, an iOS program. I will have a separate video showing how to do this for Android. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is make sure that we download um, a provisioning profile from the Apple portal. So you'll want to log into the Apple portal. Um, let me do this. So um, I'm already logged into the Apple portal. I, I am assuming here that you do have an Apple developer's license and that you have Xcode installed, um, which is if you've do, been doing any type of uh, uh, titanium development for iOS, um, this is a requirement. Okay, so I'm going to go to the provisioning pro, um, portal. I'm going to do two things. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look for the app ID. Um, presumably someone has created um, an app ID and a, a provisioning profile for you. Um, I have a profile here. Um, let me see if I, here it is. So it's the summer camp. Um, and I need to look at the actual um, um, app ID, which is uh, this piece here. Actually, this is a generic app ID, um, which means I can create many applications from this um, particular um, provisioning profile. The part that I need here is this edu.mu.ohio.mlc.summercamp. Uh, I want to remember that, so I've, uh, I've uh, done a copy, and um, I will paste that later. Uh, the other thing that you need is the actual um, provisioning profile. So you'll go to the Apple portal and download that, uh, the one that matches uh, the app ID that, uh, um, that, you, uh, um, uh, that you have for the, um, uh, for the program. And you look here, I, actually if I mouse over uh, this, it'll show me what the app ID is. Okay, so um, I'm going to download this. And that'll be uh, placed into a directory. And so I have that here in this directory. Uh, I need to have uh, this particular um, um, provisioning profile added to uh, my Xcode installation. So what I'm going to do is just double click on this. And what's going to happen is that um, it will then be added here to um, the organizer within Xcode. Um, if you're doing titanium development, this is probably as far as you need to go as far as um, um, using Xcode, um, just verifying that uh, your provisioning profile has been added um, to, uh, to Xcode. Okay, so now that I have that done, I'm ready to make some changes to my application. So one of the things I need to do is change my application ID. So I'm going to copy and paste that app ID that I got from the Apple portal. And then I need to add in another piece here um, to distinguish it from other apps that will use the uh, same provisioning profile. So I've just added a .hw to this, and I'm going to save uh, this file and then go to um, I, the Run button and select iOS device. And uh, what's going to happen here then is I'm going to get a dialog window that's going to show uh, the, um, uh, the following information. So the, de the development certificate, and the, so this should, should match your name. If you're doing this development on um, your machine, um, it should be one of the only ones that appears, although uh, if you're part of a large team, there might be actually several different development certificates that show up. I'm just going to select the one for my name. Okay, and then uh, the other piece that I need to do is I need to select a provisioning profile. So I find that one here. Uh, and then I can click on Finish. What this is going to do then is it's going to compile uh, the program and then it's going to deploy it to, um, to iTunes. And so we'll need to use iTunes to do a synchronization with your uh, device. Uh, you can also use um, uh, websites like testflightapp.com, um, which will allow you to do over the air uh, distributions of your, uh, of your application. 
So we just need to wait uh, a few minutes here for this to get deployed to, um, to iTunes. And once that happens, I'll bring iTunes up and we'll see uh, what needs to happen there. Uh, which is uh, essentially just like synchronizing apps um, that are normally contained within iTunes. Um, just see how much longer this is going to take. Um, I think it's getting pretty close. And let's see if it's, I don't think it's quite done yet. I think this is the an older version of the, the program. Okay, so. Uh, so it asked me if, uh, say, an older version of Hello World already exists in iTunes library, so I'm going to go ahead and replace it. Um, and uh, that's fine. Um, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so now it's, uh, it's going to be doing a sync with my iTunes. Um, and so, okay, now it's uh, it looks like it's completed and it's uh, gone ahead and added it to my device. Um, so normally, if you don't have a device already connected, um, it will just show up here um, under the under apps. You'll see here that I have actually two apps um, that were developed with uh, Titanium, and then of course all the other apps that um, are part of uh, this particular computer's iTunes. Um, okay, so uh, now that I have uh, this um, this executable on my device, then I can start up my device and and run it there. Um, I obviously can't show you what that uh, what that looks like um, with the screencast, uh, but anyway, the the main thing that uh, we need to know here is that when Titanium does all of this, it essentially um, adds it to iTunes, and then you sync. Uh, with iTunes, um, the, the app with iTunes, uh, onto your device. Uh, again, there is another way um, that you can deploy the um, uh, the app um, through something like uh, testflightapp.com, um, which um, uh, is again is just a, another way of doing um, distributions of your apps, um, so that uh, you can do over-the-air distribution. So anyway, so that completes uh, this uh, this movie.